right, we're going to continue our practice with array model division, this time with um, four digit by one digit problems. Here, as always, is our standard and our learning scale, which leads us to our learning goal of I can find whole number of quotients and remainders with up to four digit dividends and one digit divisors using the following strategies, equations, rectangular arrays, and area models. Specifically, um, for right now, using rectangular array. Again, these are still the same steps that we've been working on. If need be, you can always copy these down if you can't remember, or you don't have them already written down somewhere close to you. All right, let's try something together. First and foremost, we know we need to draw out our array. We know that it needs to be broken into four different squares. Of course, you need to label your place values, thousands, hundreds, tens, and ones. All right, remember that our divisor needs to go on the left side, and we bring our dividend in our first box. Since we definitely have um, a number in the thousands place, we know that we need to start in the thousands. We are writing that down, fourth. 1,035. Okay, we're going to ask ourselves, how many times can 3 go into 4, which is the number in the thousands place? It goes in one time, but remember that because we're in the thousands place, we need to make sure that we are adding those three zeros like we know that we're supposed to. Now we're going to multiply. What is 3 times 1,000? Again, plot your basic fact is 3 times 1, which is 3, and then add on those three zeros. When we subtract... 5 minus 0 is 5, 3 minus 0 is 3, 0 minus 0 is 0, and then 4 minus 3 is 1. Remember that we are bringing that over. We have 1,035 left. Yes, we still have a number in the thousands place, but we need to um, take a look at the fact that when we're going to see if 3 can go into 1 again, it cannot. So we have to think of that as being 10 groups. Um, of 100 so that we can use both of these numbers. So now we're going to ask ourselves, okay, how many times can 3 go into 10 without going over? And we know that that is 3 times. And again, we need to remember that because we're in the hundreds place, we need to add on those two zeros. Again, we're going to multiply our divisor, which is 3 times 300. Again, plot your basic fact. 3 times 3 is 9. And then don't forget about those two zeros. When we subtract 5 minus 0 is 5, 3 minus 0 is 3, and 10 minus 9 is 1. We're going to bring it on over 135. Um, can 3 go into 1? No, but that's okay because that's in the hundreds place. So remember, we're going to think about this one as being 13 groups of 10. So we're going to ask ourselves, how many times can 3 go into 13 without going over? And hopefully we can remember that 3 times 4 gives us 12, so that's as close as we can get. But remember that because it's in the tens place, we need to add on that one zero. So now we're going to multiply. What is 3 times 40? Pull out your basic fact of 3 times 4, which we said was 12. Don't forget about that zero. And then we're going to go ahead and subtract it. 5 minus 0 is 5. 3 minus 2 is 1. And of course, 1 minus 1 is 0. We're going to bring it on over. This is our last step. Ask yourself, okay, how many times can 3 go into 15? We know that 3 times 5 is 15, and it's in the 1's place, so again, we don't need to add on anything to it. We're going to multiply 3 times 5 is 15. When we subtract, we're left with 0. Same rules apply. When we get a 0, we get to add up all these numbers. We have 1,000. We have 300. We have 40. And we have 5. We have to be careful that we line them up in the correct place value so that we are adding correctly. So that we add 0, 0, 0, and 5 is 5, 0, 0, and 4 is 4, 0, and 3 is 3, and then bring your 1 down, leaving us with the answer, the quotient of 1,345. Let's try one more together before you start your own. Again, we know we need to start out by drawing an array model. You need to 
split up those place values and label them thousands, hundreds, tens, and ones. Remember, the, remember that our divisor needs to go over here. And we have a number in the thousands place, so we're not going to cross anything out. We're just going to bring down our dividend of 3,915. All right. As always, we're going to start in the thousands and we're going to say, okay, how many times can five go into three? Oh, it cannot. So we're going to go ahead and put a zero at the top because it cannot go in any time. We're going to go ahead and still multiply and do the steps that we do for every other problem, though. Five times zero is zero, and then you subtract. Five minus zero, five. Bring your one down, your nine, and your three. So we're still working with the same dividend, not a problem. We're going to bring it over to the hundreds. And we're going to think about this as being 39 groups of 100 so that we can um, get 5 to divide into that number. So now we'll start here. How many times can 5 go into 39 without going over it? 5 times 7, we know, is 35. So that's an easy fact for us to pull out. Remember, though, that because it's in the hundreds place, we need to make sure that we're adding on those two zeros. We're going to go ahead and multiply 700 times 5. Again, pull out your basic fact of 7 times 5, which is 35. Don't forget about those two zeros. And then we're going to subtract. 5 minus 0 is 5. 1 minus 0 is 1. 9 minus 5 is 4. And then 3 minus 3 is 0. Awesome. Let's bring over our 415. And let's keep moving along. Let's see, how many times can 5 go into 4? It cannot. So instead, we're going to think about this as being 41 groups of 10. So how many times can 5 go into 41 without going over? We know that 5 times 8 is 40, so we're going to write 8 up here. But remember, because we're in the 10s place and not the 1s yet, we need to add on 1, 0. We're then going to multiply 5 times 80. Let's start with our basic factor, 5 times 8, which we know is 40. And then we can't forget to bring down that extra 0. We're going to subtract. 5 minus 0 is 5. 1 minus 0 is 1. And then we know 4 minus 4 is 0. We're going to bring over our 15 and keep doing it. So we're going to see how many times can 5 go into 15. And this is the basic fact that we should know. Um, 5 times 3, we, have, we know is 15. So again, we're going to multiply our divisor, which is 5 times this last number we got, which is 3. 5 times 3 is 15. When I subtract, I'm left with, with 0. When I'm left with 0, remember that I can add up my numbers that I have at the top to lead me to my quotient. We don't need to write down 0 because we know the one that took um, place in the thousands because we know that that isn't anything. So we're going to add up 700 and 80 and 3. 0, 0, and 3 is 3. 0 and 8 is 8. And bring down our 7, leaving us with 783 as our quotient. You're going to try this problem on your own, as well as this problem on your own. Best of luck, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.